Due to changes in Microsoft Office, it's no longer possible to copy and paste a video's embed code into PowerPoint 2007 or 2010 and have that video play on one of your slides. However, if you want a YouTube, Vimeo, Video Jug, or similar video to play on your slide and not have to download the video to your computer, there is a way to do so using the developer tool in PowerPoint. There is one important caveat. You must have a reliable broadband connection when giving your presentation. Here are the steps to follow for PowerPoint 2007 and 2010. First, click on the Developer tab. It's very likely the Developer tab will not be showing by default since it is rarely needed by most users. If the Developer tab is not showing, click on the PowerPoint Pizza button then, at the bottom of the window that opens, click on PowerPoint Options. In the dialog box that appears, select Popular if it is not already selected. To the right, you will see a tick box and Show Developer tab in the ribbon. Place a check mark there and click OK. Now, back on your PowerPoint, you will see the Developer tab at the top ribbon. Click it, and a set of buttons will appear on the Controls panel. Look in the bottom right for the Hammer and Wrench icon, and click on it for More Controls. A More Controls dialog box will appear, with items in alphabetical order. Scroll all the way down to the S's for Shockwave Flash Object. Select it, and click OK. Now your pointer will turn into crosshairs. Use your mouse to draw a box on your slide where the video will appear. Make it as large or small as you want. The video will fill that space. When you release the mouse, you will see a box with an X in it. Now go to the video sharing site of your choice and find the video that you wish to share in your PowerPoint. Copy the video's URL from the top window. Do not click on Share and grab the Share URL. You want only the URL from your browser's URL window at the very top of your browser. Open a document of some sort and paste that URL into it so that you can see it very well because now you're going to modify it. Once you have the URL so that you can see it, delete the question mark and the word watch. Second, delete the equal sign and replace it with a forward slash. Now, this is the video's new URL. Return to your PowerPoint slide and right-click the big envelope with an X in it. In the context menu, select Properties, and a Properties box will appear. Go to the row that says Movie, not Movie Data, but the word Movie Only. Paste in your customized URL that you just made into the Movie field. Go up to Embed Move and make sure that False is selected. Now close the Properties box. Begin your show, and you will probably see a warning message asking if you want unknown content to play on your computer. You should click Allow. Once you do, you will see the YouTube controls and the video will play. Now, one nice feature about this method is that you can import a picture of a computer screen or a television or anything else and play the video inside of that picture by drawing the flash wave box there. Here's a picture of an old-timey TV. I'm going to resize the box to fit inside the TV. Then I will insert my video, and then whenever I go to play my video, it will play inside the television. 
Now keep in mind that your computer must be up to date with its Shockwave Flash plugin. To ensure you have the latest version, go to Adobe's Shockwave Player download page. And here is that URL.